It's Tuesday the 19th of December 2017 and welcome to Navigating Your Day. So in Jinshin Jitsu, 19 came into the universe meaning authority and leadership. And safety engine lock number 19 is located on the crease of the elbow. So if you bend your elbow just where, the, where it makes that bend, there we go. That is where safety engine lock number 19 is. So you can easily cross your arms and hold your 19s. 19 meaning authority and leadership is about taking responsibility for your life. It's about taking responsibility for your life in terms of knowing what you value and living congruently with those values. In other words, living congruently with what's important to you. Setting goals in areas that matter to you, as opposed to injecting the values of other people into your lives and trying to set goals based on what they want for you. Because when you do that, you can do that for a short period of time because you can harness yourself, your willpower and your discipline in order to do that. But at some point, you will always return to your default setting and your default setting is living according to your values. So if you've set goals in areas that are not your values, you are going to steam ahead towards them and at some point, you're going to lose momentum, you're going to lose interest, and then you are going to fail. And when you fail, then you are going to tell yourself that you are a failure, and then your sense of self becomes more um, unintegrated as opposed to being more integrated. So when you live congruently with what's important to you, when you take authority for your own life, when you take responsibility for your own life, you cannot control circumstances, you cannot control events, and you cannot control other people. You cannot even control yourself, but what you can do is you can take responsibility for yourself, for your reactions, for your responses, for knowing who you are, and for integrating those parts of yourself that you've perhaps hidden, or that are sitting in your shadow, or that your magnificence that you haven't owned. It's not only about your bad stuff, it's about your good stuff also. So when we are in harmony with this energy of the 19, we are able to step into our true power, and we can only step into our power, into our natural authority and leadership, to the extent to which we know ourselves, and to the extent to which we accept ourselves as we are that we are enough. So when you hold safety energy lock number 19, you actually open 19, you open 14. 14 is about sustenance and sustenance and adaptation and balance. And you open 23, which is about regulating or the controller of the human destiny. You open your entire waistline area and then you allow the energy to flow up the back and down the front. So from the back of your head to the tip of your big toe and back to the back of the head again. And then you are literally in the flow because you have awakened the flow. So today we have the opportunity to do this. The route of the life map today is 131. So we've got lots of air, we've got lots of we've got fire and so that can actually result in quite a lot of volatility. Um, ones are um, they can be very secure in their authority, but know this, people who are really secure in who they are, they're not necessarily overly egotistical and they don't try and impose their will on others. The downside of the one is that when we're in that insecure phase of the one and we're trying to be more than because we're feeling so much less than, then we very often can become we be, can become a bit diva-like, right? Which means that we can throw our toys, we can become dissatisfied because our Minions are not actually behaving the way they should be. We can become overly controlling. We can become overly bossing. We can also spend a lot of time in our heads. So we become overly analytical. We think too much. We drive too hard. And we don't connect to the heart, which means that we function purely out of the head. And that can lead to a lot of anxiety. So do guard against that. Our helper today is the five. So five is another air number, which does increase the volatility and the, um, the in-your-headness. However, five is about adapting. It's about being able to adapt to change. And five is the analyst. Five is also the inventor, the one who finds new ways of looking at things, finds new ways of doing things, so that we don't necessarily get stuck in our old, rigid patterns. However, because it is an air number, we again run the risk of spending too much time in the head, too little time in the heart, and we, we run the risk of this analysis paralysis, you know. We start thinking so much that we actually get ourselves into a state of anxiety. The villain of today is the six. Now, six, in the, six is usually about harmony and beauty, right? Six in the villain position is about a lack of balance. It's about not actually being able to maintain that balance. So again, if you're spending too much time thinking, if you're too much time driving, if you're starting to get anxious because, you know, it's the end of the year, you haven't done your 2017 review, you haven't done your Christmas shopping, you haven't met your deadline, this would be me, um, and uh, you haven't made any plans for 2018, and oh my God, this is what you should be doing, 
that is very much the risk you run today of all the, I should have, I must be doing this. Oh my God, I'm not getting to it. And that energy does not serve you, right? Because it is what it is. You're going to be able to do what you can do. And you can do no more than that. And that six in the villain position stops us from seeing the balance. So we need to be aware today that we need to connect to our feelings. So water is the element that's missing and that's the one that you want to put in. So you want to drink lots of water. If you can, you want to immerse yourself in water. So I don't know, soak in an Epsom salt, salt, salt bath or if it's warm enough, swim or go to the beach or have a swim in the ocean. Um, anything that connects you to that flowing water element and that can actually help to ground you. So um, a walk in the garden on the, on the dewy grass with bare feet on the lawn, that would be great grounding because we, we are lacking earth and water in this life map today. So we need to ground, keep ourselves grounded and stop ourselves from flying into the air and getting overwhelmed with our anxiety and too much thinking. So you can harmonize safety engine lock number 19 by holding the 19s. And as I said, when you hold the 19s, you open the 19s. You become more adaptable because you open the waistline and you end old cycles in order to start new cycles because you actually open safety engine lock nine, which is at the bottom of the shoulder blade. So you're opening a whole lot of safety energy locks and you're enabling the energy to circulate up the back and down the front and up the back and down the front. So you're maintaining that cosmic circulation around you and through you and it will help to keep you in the flow and it will also help to keep you grounded. You can also hold your thumb because safety energy lock number 19 is located on the thumb and the thumb harmonizes the stomach and spleen organ function energy. The stomach is the thinker and the spleen is the feeler. So it helps you harmonize that head and heart polarity. It also helps to harmonize worry and anxiety. So if you're feeling anxious, if you're worried, if you're um, running, if you feel like you're one of those little hamsters stuck on the treadmill, on the wheel, then hold your thumb, take a couple of deep breaths, keep your feet firmly on the ground. You can imagine, you can imagine the energy of the earth moving from the center of the earth right up into your feet and then your energy moving back down into the earth because that helps you to ground yourself like the roots of a tree. While holding your thumb, You'll kill a couple of birds with one stone, which is not a really pleasant metaphor, but you know what I mean, right? So um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll speak to you again tomorrow.